My name is Frank Pasco. I'm from South Devon UTC in Devon. I joined the UTC because I had a huge interest in science and because it offered an awful lot of opportunities to experience the workplace. As well as that, it also offers opportunities such as this one, staying here on HMS Bristol for a week and experiencing the Brickwood Field Gun Challenge, which is great fun, A, to do the exercise and also to hang out with friends. Hi, my name's Jolene Douglas. Um, I am a learning support mentor for AUTIC UTC College in East London. Um, I am a learning support mentor. I work with students um, that need just a little bit more push, a little bit more shove, um, just to help them to access the curriculum. Uh, I work in a fantastic team at the college that I'm at. We're currently in our second year, um, and this is the first year that I've been there. Uh, there's some fantastic opportunities at the college that the kids have been to, um, hence the one that we're at today, the Royal Navy Challenge. Um, what can I say about the challenge? Uh, it is a challenge for a lot of the students that are here. And I take my heart to all these students, they've worked really well, really hard. It's fantastic to see the CV, team building, you know, uh, and working, commitment, getting up at half five in the morning. Um, and all I can say is if any college or any establishment out there gets um, you know, the opportunity to do the Royal Navy Challenge, please sign up to it, don't question it, do it, it is fantastic and I wish I was young again and I had the opportunity. I'm Stephen Green, I'm an engineer facilitator trainer at South Devon UTC. It's very important to have events like this, the Junior Leaders Field Gun, uh, and our involvement with the Royal Navy as it supports all of our curriculum delivery. We've been involved as a brand new startup UTC from, from day one this year with Op Antarctica and the engineering challenge there. Uh, and now we've moved on to the Junior Leaders Field Gun. Events like this greatly enrich the curriculum, give an extended opportunity for our students to get them business and industry ready, and also help raise the profile of the armed forces you know, as part of our wider role in the, in the development of the individuals and promoting British values. We've had a very successful Junior Leaders Field Gun here this week. That is, this is helping them all to develop not only as individuals, but to learn how to work into teams and cooperate and to push themselves way beyond what they thought they were capable of achieving uh, and achieve new goals and objectives as they strive for success. Royal Navy's engaged with university technical colleges around the country because it wants to help develop the talented scientists, engineers and technicians of the future. And so we've engaged with six university technical colleges that have specialisms that match what the Royal Navy needs in its engineers and technicians. But also, things like the Junior Leaders Field Gun Competition and the Engineering Challenge hosted at Sultan every year in March help develop teamwork, self-reliance and resilience and communication skills, which are all really strong skills that the young people need as they go out into the world of work. We've done amazing work with UTCs all over the programme, um, bringing the idea of what the Navy is and can do to the, to the attention of people who would never otherwise have thought of this as being a life they might be interested in, a world that would suit them. And Andy and Matt Clark and the others have been working very hard with a, a handful, I think it's six, that are actually affiliated to uh, the Royal Navy, but the number of UTCs that are involved with the programme is much more. We had an amazing event at H.S. Sultan earlier this year where 20 UTCs took part. The youngsters stayed on HMS Bristol, they worked in teams and that's what they're doing here this week with this field gun competition. They turned up on Monday, I understand they were shown a one and a half tonne hulk of metal and told they were going to be moving that around by the end of the week. I don't imagine they could have possibly thought that in five days they could have been doing what they're doing now. It's absolutely th fantastic and, and I'd like to thank the Navy for everything it's doing and all the people because I understand that many of the folk that are out on the parade ground now are doing this in their own time uh, and it's just wonderful and so thank you very much. <laughs>